So here's a quick introduction to the new report generator in C Electrical. So we're going to go into file, into report generator, and then click on report generator there. We're now going to add a new report. So we go to file, new report, and just type the name of the report in there. So I'm going to create an example PLC list. So in this one, we can actually select one of the existing queries. So we'll choose view, view PLC card IO and we go to next and it shows us the main editor area. So there's a couple of areas that we need to get used to in here. So on the top right, usually we've got the report explorer, which shows us the different areas of the pro, uh, report and also more importantly, the field list, with the list of the tables. <clears throat> Underneath that, we've got the report property grid, so we can actually select an item on there and change the font, the padding, the justification, all the information to get everything looking right. And on the left hand side, we've got a toolbox. Underneath, we've got a group and sort, so we can create new headers and new sorting methods for our report. Uh, for now, I'm actually going to minimize that, so we've got a bit more space on the drawing. So the first thing, it's really quite important to go into the top left and to set the data member to table. You'll see all the fields inside there, but we can choose table and that will shorten the actual information in here so that we've just got the actual uh, field names. Now in the field list, we can actually drag and drop fields. So for instance, if we want to get the actual, um, <coughs> so we want the PLC address, we would choose uh, 175100 you have to know these but there we go and we can if we want drag and drop that information now the detail header is where it starts repeating that information to check between the actual report and how it's going to look we click on the top on the print preview that would then show us a list of that information notice how that band is quite big there so we'd go back to the report designer and <clears throat> we would then drag this page footer up so if we go to the print preview now, we'll see that that information is now showing the addresses in the project. Now we can just drag and drop all this information in here, but it's actually easier to handle, to manipulate if we use um, a table instead of text. So I'm going to remove that one and I'm going to add a table to there. And when you click and drag, you can define the actual size of that table and you can see it now has cells. So if we want to make this up of the product, which is 1610 I would drag that field in there and drop it onto that first cell the next one I might want the actual connection point so that would be uh, 175000 drag that one in there <coughs> and then perhaps the PLC address that was the one we already had in there now if we want a new column in there we right click on one of the cells insert in this case column to the right and now I want another one here for the PLC description which is 110 and then finally well not finally but PLC comment is the next one so right click insert column to the right which is going to be PLC comment which is in fact that one there and one more time column to the right and I'm going to have this as being uh, where it's connected to which is this one here. Now with these um, cells and tables we have a situation that we can change the whole width by selecting the top left and dragging to the left or right and that will change the whole size and it will actually proportionally resize all the fields inside. If we click on one of the cells then we'll notice that as we drag that that it will change the size of that within the outer bounds so it doesn't change the size of the outer cells. So again, you click on the top left to change the whole width. And we can see where the columns are. And we can actually change those by click and drag to change the column width, uh, the, the margin, sorry. And we can drag that across to change the size. Now, obviously, some of these fields are going to need to be bigger than others. So we need to check a preview first. We can now see that information coming out. And we can see that that one there for the PLC description in this case needs to be a bit wider. So if we have a look at that information there, let's make the first one, the product, a bit smaller. Let's make the connection points certainly smaller. PLC address can be smaller and that gives us plenty of space then hopefully for the description and the comment. So 
let's have a look at the preview again and that's looking a lot better there so we've got some of the information let's see how we can format that a bit uh, more easily we can choose on the top left to select the whole table and we can change the font if we want to we can also on the properties let's see if we can drag this up a little bit to get a bit more space on here we can change the properties in here so for instance we can change the alignment on the text and have it middle of that cell on the left we could also add some padding so that on the left hand side we could add a padding of 10 points so it moves it across a short way and also if we scroll up we can all see the borders and in the borders we can change that from none to all so if we now look at that in the print preview we can see a nice report there's a bit of spacing between those so what we can do is go back to the report and we can drag that page footer up so that, that space now is just one row high so when we look at the preview it's now a nice row of cells last thing we can do on this report then is to drag this information up so click from the actual plus symbol and hold down control as we do it keep the control held down and let go and now we want these in the page header to become the headings for these so for each row we can click on a cell and we can see that it's bound to this particular column now what we want is it just to be text so we can go down to the bottom and say none for the binding and then this text at the top becomes what we see so this can be product we can then go to the next one and set this as being CP for connection point I'll type N for none and it jumps down to the bottom and do the same thing for the next one PLC address none description and again none for the data and it means that the formatting is uh, the same for each one I'll say comment none target so again we can actually pull up that header at the bottom and we'll see those are joined together and when we check the preview we've got that information on the top now they're not quite lined up so what I'm going to do is just hold this one drag it and you can see when they're lined up you get a, a pink bar you can click on a cell as you drag it you'll see it would get a, a bar which extends to say that's snapped at that point so it's quite easy to line things up so that's our report at the moment we can finish this off by adding perhaps some page data so on the left hand side we've got a toolbox we can scroll down drag the page info and drop it towards the middle of the page and again perhaps center justify it and set it for Arial font uh, also at the bottom we can take off this large footer and shorten that we don't have a report header so it can be useful to right click on one of these bars any one of them and insert a band and you'll find there there's a report header we can add we just drag this up anything in here just gets displayed for the first page so we can add just maybe a field or a label this in and then we can just set that text and say this is PLC IO list and again format it aerial make it a bit bigger and you can see it snapped to the left hand side there so a nice report once we've done that we can then check that when we export this click on export and choose maybe Excel click OK and we should find we've then got a nicely formatted file which we can work on with the actual PLC information to finish this off click on save close that down and from whenever we actually double click on this now it's just going to run that as a preview and we can report uh, send that information out